Hello, space fairies. In a lot of stories, happy memories are the most powerful thing in the world. They can help you to fly, they can protect you from evil, or they can give you strength during times of darkness. I've carried these ideas with me all my life, and you'd think that would give me hope and warmth, when actually what it did give me was crushing anxiety. Because when I was a child, if Peter Pan ever showed up at my house and was like, fly with me to Neverland where you never have to grow up, the pressure of having to think of a happy thought on the spot was tantamount to doing literally any kind of group project. And it's not like I had no happy thoughts or memories, they were there, but ask me to think of just one and I would panic. Until one magical day, several years ago, a memory so special and so precious to me came along that I knew it would forever be burned into the forefront of my mind any time I needed to cast a Patronus. And that day is my best friend's wedding day. I was maid of honour, and a group of our friends were bridesmaids, and by all accounts it just was an incredibly beautiful wedding. After the ceremony came the first dance, which obviously made me cry, and after that it was basically one big happy disco. As most memorable evenings do, it went by in a flash, and we sent off the bride and groom, we bid farewell to various relatives and friends, and we finally took off our heels. Myself and the bridesmaids had been staying in a hotel a short while away with the mother and father of the bride, so we all stayed behind together to help clear everything away. Stacking chairs, picking up abandoned flowers and scarves and wine glasses, and packing up the enormous amount of buffet food that all the relatives had contributed to. I myself, I was tasked with putting food in Tupperware, and that's when I noticed the entire mountain of samosas. These were samosas from the gods themselves, if the gods themselves were the bride's great aunt. I'd managed to sneak one or two during the day, so I knew how good these samosas were, but I'd otherwise been kept pretty busy and away from the samosas. I turn to the mother of the bride and I'm like, hey, what's happening to all this food once it's packed? And she says, oh, I think we're going to give it out. See who wants to take any home. Otherwise, we'll probably have to throw it away. Oh, so what you're saying is it would be totes cool if I took a couple of these bad boys home for myself. She says, yes, of course, but I don't know what you'd do with a mountain of samosas. She then continues about her business and I innocently continue about mine. Then around just past midnight we all bundle into a car and return to the hotel. Quick side note, as the maid of honour, the night before the wedding I had shared a fancy double hotel room with the bride. I still had that same room but now the bride was staying elsewhere with her new husband and I, I had the room to myself. And everyone, hi, welcome to my happy thought. Welcome to the memory that will defeat Dementors and make me fly. It's me, at one o'clock in the morning, in a bridesmaid's dress, sitting on a king-size bed in a fancy hotel room, eating 16 homemade samosas that I snuck out of a wedding. Thank you, thank you, yes, thank you. Someone call Peter Pan, this bitch is going to Neverland and she's bringing carbohydrates. Was that the best day of my life? Absolutely not. The rights to that day belong to the bride and groom alone. In fact, I could safely say it wasn't even the best year of my life, not by a long shot. I seem to recall I was broke, unemployed, heartbroken and living with mould. But that's the nice thing about happy memories. They can come from anywhere at any time and you deserve them no matter what else is going on in your life. Happy memories don't need to be complicated, they don't even need to be your happiest ones. They can still be powerful and they can still hold significance and value, even if they are as simple as eating 16 samosas in bed on your best friend's wedding night. Hello again and congratulations for making it this far into the video. Here are some useful links to subscribe and watch more videos or even join the Super Secret Club over on Patreon. Guess what? It's super secret and now comes with super secret stories about space. And if you don't want to miss out on any new videos, click the bell button to stay in the loop. Thank you and goodbye.